my channel. Today is day one of my fall decorate with me now because I have family who's not as enthusiastic for fall decorating as I am. I am starting off in my rec room in the basement, my family room and get that done and then I can ease them into the rest of the house which of course I will be sharing all of my fall decorate with me with you from now on until I'm done and the home tour goes up. So make sure your notification bell is on and you are subscribed so you don't miss out any of my fall decorating videos, which I am so, so excited. So once again, I just want to say hello to everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sonia. I want to thank you so much. If you're a returning subscriber, it means the world to me that you're back watching this video. First thing that I did was I just set the mood. I actually turned on um, a Halloween or uh, fall loop, Disney loop uh, video, which is just soundtrack from the parks uh, during their fall season and just kind of put me in the mood. I love Disney and I have been missing it so much. So I thought I have been listening to these music loops quite a bit. So first thing for decorating, I just replaced the little wreath here on the home sign that hangs up above my TV. I changed this out seasonally, this home sign I DIY'd myself and actually most of the decor is DIY'd in this room. Um, so. I just don't want to repeat myself um, over and over. So uh, if I have the video for it, it will be linked down below. If it comes from somewhere else, I will let you know. So next I move on to this fireplace. I love decorating fireplaces. I struggle with it the most, but I absolutely love decorating them. So I have picked up this Yankee Candle at HomeSense uh, for $16.99, which is significantly cheaper than at the Yankee store, Yankee Candle store. And it was uh, a pumpkin spice, uh, something like that. And I just wanted to have that smell as well. So I uh, see autumn, autumn spiced pumpkin is what it's called. And I just love the smell of cinnamon and pumpkin and all that fall feeling smells that this candle was giving me. And then I moved on to decorating and... Uh, like I said, I play around with this until I kind of reach the point of decor that I'm happy with. Sometimes um, I need a couple days to decide whether I'm going to stick with this decor or not. So make sure you stick around till the, in the middle of September with the fall decor because that's when I will be sharing my home tour and you can uh, kind of compare and see what I've changed out and what I left the same.
so I think this turned out pretty good. That pumpkin was kind of a um, my setting off point as to how the palette that I wanted to go with. It is a little jar and um, I don't know if I'm going to put anything in it, but uh, I am quite happy with the way this turned out. Next I'm going to move on to my side tables and uh, over here I wanted to include these black candelabras because I think this is the one place where I'm going to use the most of a black in here and because I do believe that this room if I'm going to decorate anything for Halloween this will be the room that I will do so and I was quite pleased that I was able to use these pumpkin trays I received those last year um, from one of my families and uh I loved the look of them, but I really struggled last year to use them in my decor. I just could not make them work, and I was able to do that here, and I was quite happy. I think they look perfect holding the uh, remotes, and I also use them on my other side table, which you will see shortly. But before I decorate the second uh, side table, I am do working on my... Uh, coffee table and if you've been following along you know I like using trays on coffee tables because I do find them easily movable if I need to move them for snacks or whatever else I need them to. I often do my planning at this uh, table as well so I like to be able just to pick up my decor and move it out of the place and then bring it back without actually dismantling the whole thing. Part of my creative department had arrived to help me out with the decorating and he was just missed it sampling the table. Hey you cutie pie.
Now that all my tables and side tables are finished, I'm moving on to my couches and I really wanted to create a sense of cozy, feely type of setting and I have um, gotten these uh, pillow covers from a friend and they had come from, I will actually link it down below for you guys to um, check it out, but they did come from Amazon. Um, the store call is called uh, <clears throat> GYGOT, and I will have the link for them down below. I absolutely love these pillow covers, and I am using my Christmas pillows to fill them in. Um, I do think pillow covers save a ton of space, and if you can get away with using them, um, that's a bonus. For that so I love um, the whole truck decor so this pillow was uh, fitting and uh, the gnomes uh, gnomes are growing on me so I liked this one as well and then I'm adding some a uh, cozy touchy feeling uh, to the room by adding these blankets these are very uh, soft and heavy blankets and I think um, it adds that soft touch because I do find that this leather furniture is very cold it looks cold and um, it feels cold too when it's cool downstairs so I like turning on the fireplace and having nice uh, cozy blankets to snuggle up and watch some TV and my kids like that too both of them my son too so I liked adding that coziness I do want to get a rug for here before winter but we'll see if that will happen or not because I am quite cheap I should say and <laughs> I like to find things on a good deal so sometimes it takes a while for me to find that uh, over in this corner I found the cables were driving me a little bit bonkers so I added this I want to call it a corn stalk I do not know what it, it's not a corn stalk it's just assorted leaf, leafy foliage put together and uh, just to kind of hide that and then I am using this apple basket to add extra blankets that I had on hand here now this is just to kind of give you an idea I will be out there looking for a touch of a bigger basket I thought I had a bigger basket but I cannot find it anywhere uh, so but I want to um, add a bigger basket just to fill in the space a little bit better I think the small one didn't really work that well and then I added this uh, pumpkin topiary here and I think it looks great I love how cozy this room feels now um, I would love to add maybe um, instead of these white pillows something more um, fleecy type of pillow I think that would add the coziness to the room so if I find the covers or pillows I will re be replacing these with that kind of the same texture as that white so we are all done just want to give you a little overview of what it all looks like so I'm going to start over here with the love seat and I will link up any thing that I have uh, link to either a store or a DIY that I created I will um, most of my blankets did come from Marshalls or HomeSense so obviously I can link those up
Well, I hope you have enjoyed this decorate with me. Many more to come. And this is a great example how you can decorate on a very low budget and still make it look pretty, pretty fabulous, I think anyways. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend that you think might like it as well. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you're not. And I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.